morning, good morning, aloha, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the little piece of paradise that we call the Lone Star Hawaiian Garage. We got our all new 2020 Chevrolet Trail Boss all posted up in the garage with the rest of the fleet. The night we brought this home, I seriously came out here 15 different times in the middle of the night just to turn on the lights and look what's in the garage. This is really kind of a dream coming true of mine. We got our beautiful Trail Boss. We have our OG Lone Star Hawaiian Silverado. Now that we have this one, we can go absolutely crazy with this one. So guys, don't worry, this is not going away. Now, if you are new to the channel, this is what I call my piece of paradise, which is my garage. We had an entire garage build series over the last several months to make this garage what it is today. This is really a piece of paradise. Definitely check out the garage build series if you have not seen it. Our 2020 Trail Boss. We are gonna do an in-depth review of this truck after I put some miles on it. My pet peeve is when people pick up vehicles from dealerships and do an immediate review on the vehicle the moment they pick it up. First impressions are great, but they're not factual information. They're emotionally driven. And to be honest, you really can't tell a vehicle after you've driven it for 10 minutes, guys. So what I'm gonna do for you, after you put about a thousand miles on this thing, after we live in it, for a few weeks, we are going to do a in-depth review for you guys on the pros and cons of this new Silverado. I can already tell there's so many things that I love about this truck, but there's also things that I really don't necessarily love. But that is upcoming. Don't worry what today's video is about. Not about this Silverado, but that Silverado. We are correcting a mistake that I made when we removed that trim doing the paint correction. It kind of was my fault, kind of is not my fault, but regardless, we are fixing that problem by upgrading the issue so step number one the boss is coming out of the garage into the driveway in the rain unfortunately because i need this bay to work in here's a cold start on a bone stock 2020 silverado trail boss yes i agree the exhaust needs to be dealt with that is way too quiet for a truck done a lot of work on this truck so far in the last week we have done a full paint correction on this thing we had so many scratches so many little swirl marks that are now completely gone and with that came a trim removal we finally removed this trim that was on the door no one liked it i didn't like it but uh we finally got rid of it in doing that we found an issue we found the issue the hard way which is some uh some issues with my paint when i removed the trim it peeled back the paint completely off the primer so now one there's like a little lip right here between the paint and the primer and this is just completely hideous so that is a, a tremendous amount of work to fix it correctly and uh <laughs> i'm not gonna do that so what i'm gonna do is actually a different idea i had and that is utilizing a custom graphic here on the side. This is gonna be a complete DIY in your garage at home process that I've had an idea of doing and because necessity is driving it, we're finally gonna do it today. We're gonna to figure it out as we go. I've never done this before. So kick back, relax and enjoy the struggle. Here we go. This is the biggest piece of wrap I have ever purchased. So the idea is to utilize the gloss black wrap to create a custom graphic down the side of the truck that's gonna cover the imperfection on the other side. I was curious what this would look like if you were to wrap over this damaged area. Like I said before, because the paint peeled off, there's a small, tiny lip. You can kind of feel it with your fingernail between the primer and the paint. And then if I were to just wrap over the top of this, this is what that would look like. It's super apparent. If I were to go straight over the top of it, you can see the edge of where the paint ends and the primer begins. So step number one is mask this off. And then we get the block sander and sand this down. Probably start with some 400, get to 800, and probably end with some 1,000 grit just to get it as smooth as possible. But the whole idea is to get rid of this lid.
We'll be back to sand that down just a little bit, smooth it out real nice. Um, we got a, yeah, it looks like we got a tiny lip there. So let's let that sit for a little bit. We'll be back in a few hours to clean that up. All right, all right, that went, that was a lot of tape. But we have figured out what we're gonna do. So what has not changed is kind of this section here. This is what I have to do. I have to cover this area. So there's really nothing I can do up and around. It, it's just set in stone. The idea is, hey, how do I come to this area, bring out some of the accents on the fenders and the body lines and not look completely stupid? Well, I shouldn't say that because I'm a complete idiot, but here's the idea. Initially, I thought I would start here at the front, kind of the old, late 60s RS Camaro stripe that came up and down the side of the vehicle. I was gonna come up this bottom section of bumper, come down the side, come down underneath on the low side and actually kick itself up a little bit and then run the rest of the body of the truck. Now, as I was uh, preparing this area, I had a, a thought because those of you that are OG, those of you that are OG subscribers will remember fender stripes. Years ago, I actually think the first year on the channel, I had two Plasti Dip fender stripes that I had here on the truck. I loved them, it was a matte black, looked awesome. But when we buffed the truck for the first time, I had to get rid of them. So I never put them back. So here's the idea. Instead of coming from the bottom, we're actually gonna come from the top and come down the fender and where the fender kicks out right here, this is this beautiful body line, which really, to be honest, I think makes the truck. But what we're gonna do with this stripe, it's as if it tucks up underneath this body line, comes up underneath and then pops back out here where this fender line shoots outward again. So it's as if the stripe goes behind the fender and then comes back out and down the side of the truck. So there's a line here, there's a line here we're gonna follow. Now here's where things get really interesting and my insanity comes to pass is I'm obsessed with asymmetrical designs. So the idea is I want a symmetrical and an asymmetrical design tied in. Makes absolutely no sense, but let me try to make sense of it. So we're gonna have the fender stripe on this side, come down, do the same thing down the side of the truck, but here's the difference. From the front of the truck, this is gonna go towards the front on the driver's side. This is gonna have nothing on the passenger side. So this is gonna be my asymmetrical portion of my design. And then from here, and then become symmetrical once again, from here, down, and down the side of the truck. Sounds good, might be a complete nightmare, might look completely idiotic, but we will find out because I'm doing it either way. Now that we have the design, the idea laid out, and I kind of know what I'm actually gonna be doing, I'm gonna pull the tape back off, I need to sand that primer down, make it super, super smooth, and then we get to the knifeless tape. The knifeless tape's gonna border the design I have laid out, and then we gotta be super careful with the wraps. I still got a little bit of work to do before we even get that out. So, back to the time lapse for you guys, back to the music, back to work. design that's gonna look so amazing the second side was a lot easier once i had the idea laid out and kind of the measurements replicating it wasn't that bad um, but now becomes the part where i hope it's easy but in all reality it's probably not going to be so we're going to clean up the areas we got to clean this up real real good i'm going to put that knifeless tape down once that's down we'll grab the wrap and do the wrap so let's grab the knifeless tape clean this up and get the tape laid tape at all. This red stuff right here is what that knifeless tape is. And what the brand is, is called Wrap Cut. Now, this isn't the best stuff. I believe 3M makes a better wrap cut that's more, has more elastic, so it stretches. 
This is great for straight lines. When it comes to curves, this is extremely difficult because the tape itself has no flex. And on the inside, if you see that faint yellow line, that yellow line is actually what cuts it. So when you lay this tape down, you put the yellow portion at the edge that you want to cut it. And that's the reason we put the green down before the red is I was running the edge along the green so I know where exactly I wanted to cut. And I went all the way to the back here. Actually, I don't know if you saw this part of the design. So we're gonna go from the hood, kind of through the fender, down the side of the truck. And then when this fender again bulges out here, one of the other bulges on the fender, it's kind of gonna tuck behind visually and then pop back out here where this bulge or this edge is and basically wrap here up, kind of tuck in behind the bumper. So this is gonna look amazing in my head. We'll see what it actually looks like in person. So there's our wrap. We're gonna cut piece by piece because this is just a big solid piece of wrap. So we're gonna cut this up a little bit, make sure it goes all the way because this one roll is gonna cover all of this stuff. Dream big, boy gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. Let go of everything that you know. In the darkness for 40 days I've been Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? certain of truth before I've been called a righteous man before yeah I've been closer to Jesus before so can you now, I'm pretty sure you can't see the black in the camera but it looks really good and just to remember this area was completely chipped up completely screwed up and look at that just like that never existed. Super happy with that. So basically what's gonna happen now is this gloss black's gonna match this American flag I've had on here forever. Love that, love the gloss black. I kinda want from the door down to be gloss black accents. So we got our wheels, we got the new stripe, we got the flag, we got a little bit of satin and gloss kinda mixed up in here. So this is like the perfect combination. And I think in the garage it's hard to see, but once you get it out in the sunlight, get it out in the real light, it's gonna look phenomenal. Oh, can you help me out? Am I on my own? Am I on my own? But can you help me out? Am I All right, guys, we have this pretty much all finished up. We have a lot of cleaning up to do. There's a lot of like residue and kind of scuff marks on the wrap. We'll definitely take care of that. You can see in the camera now, it's gonna look so good when we get this out here. One thing I did change a little bit, I actually came down all the way on top of this grill here. Now I wanted to showcase kind of this design coming down and almost taking over the top of the grill, but not continuing down all the way. So it's overlapped right here. I think I'm really gonna like that way. The side's all done, the struts are all done, the hoods are all done, and I am pretty much done. So we're gonna get this cleaned up off camera. We'll see you back in a minute when we pull this outside and get you a good look. All right guys, we're back in the garage. It's been a few days since the last clip ended. I know I said we're gonna give you guys a good look at this new design on here, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do the ceramic coat now. So yesterday, yesterday was nice, sunny, and hot. I pulled the truck in the sun and just let it sit. And the reason I did that was I wanted that adhesive to really bond to the paint 
and any moisture or whatever else that might have been underneath these stripes is gone. So what we're gonna do now is move the trail boss into the driveway and move the truck over probably into the center here. That way we can work around this thing and get the ceramic coat nice and even. So trail boss, driveway, truck, moving over, time to ceramic coat. So for those of you that missed the first ceramic coat video, we did a full ceramic coat on the SRT charger. If you wanna see step-by-step, step, go to that video there. What we're gonna do is just knock this out real quick. So we have our Adams Polishes ceramic coat. We have about half the bottle left. This is the single coat kit. I think I can do two cars with this one kit. So we'll see, we got half that left. We have our surface prep. So we've got these two. This is a ceramic boost. We're not gonna need that right now. We got our UV lights. We don't need the clay bar. We don't need anything else because the paint correction is already done. This should be the fun part. So let's grab these three things, get to work. I'm going to get to work. So music and go. Guys, ceramic coat is complete, and my goodness, does that look good? Holy shnikes. And I had a little extra. I had a little bit left over after doing two full cars with that one glass bottle. I had a little bit left over, so guess what I did? I went ahead and ceramic coated the wheels as well. It's gonna look so incredibly good, but we'll give you guys a full reveal. Here in about, this truck has never looked better. Since the moment I picked this thing up, First off, I was a really super proud Chevy owner. When I bought this truck, this is the first Silverado I had ever personally owned outside of the Silverados I grew up in. My dad had a 91 or 92, and then we got a 99 when that one got stolen. And then I drove that 99 through high school and then absolutely fell in love with not only the truck itself, just the concept around with that bow tie, the Silverado, the Chevrolet, the whole emblem, the whole story, the whole life behind the Chevrolet. I absolutely love and I will never change that. It probably won't ever be a Ford in this garage. <laughs> but the ceramic coat, the paint correction, this little decal I did down the side, oh my goodness, has it transformed this truck or what? I know it is subtle, yes. It's extremely slow. You can hardly even see it if you're not looking for it, but that is the whole point of this, guys. And realistically, just the subtle aspects is what I absolutely love about this truck. Yes, it's a 2007, it's 13 years old, but if you just take a look at some of the subtle differences they made with this truck. First off, this fender line. I am absolute love with the fender lines of this truck. From the side of the truck, from the front to the back, these fenders, that little bulge, that little line, they've created in this fender. Really accentuates the truck and makes it, give it that little kind of hunkered down stance, which I love so much about it. Now what I wanted to do was accent that just a little bit more, really pull out those fenders just a little bit more. No, I'm not doing any neon stripes down here, but putting this gloss black stripe, the fender stripes here, that end at this crease and begin once again here at the bottom, run down the side of the truck. It gives it an additional pull but at the same time, it doesn't scream in your face because really from this angle, you don't even see the stripe. But as you get closer and look at it, these fender stripes look fantastic. And then as you put that ceramic coat on top, it basically blended this all in together. It's almost as if there's a clear coat of paint on top of everything, guys. This truck has never looked better. And guys, just for fun, when we started this channel, this is what the truck looked like. Yeah, that, that's what it looked like. And this is what it looks like now. It's all about the subtle differences that make this truck. And the subtle differences are actually gonna be not so subtle going forward. We'll tell you more about that when we get there. But I have some crazy plans for this truck coming up. It's just a matter of time before we pull the trigger. But thank you again so much for tuning in for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, if you're excited about the 07 and you wanna to continue to see old Silverado content, smash that like button below and let me know in the comment section as well. We'll see you guys again in a few days for our next video. But until then, as always, y'all take care and aloha.